Good morning. Welcome, friends, family, loved ones, honored guests, and most importantly, my fellow graduates from the class of 2023. My name is Abigail Lemieux, and I have had the privilege to call myself your vice president for the past four years. It is an honor to be standing before you today on such a memorable occasion. It is all of you here today that watched us grow from timid freshmen trying to find our way to ambitious graduating seniors ready to take on the world. We want to thank you for your support over the years as you have made as you have helped us make our way through the journey of schooling in life. We treasure the impact you made on our lives and the role you played in who we became. Thank you for being a part of this ceremony, celebrating this new chapter in our lives. And most importantly, please never underestimate the difference you made and the lives you touched. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ivy Lin, and I'm the treasurer of the class of 2023. For the class gift from the class of 2023, we are donating $500 to support the GHS No Place for Hate initiative. We are also donating $1,500 to the class of 2024 to put towards senior activities for next year. On behalf of the class of 2024, I thank you and I graciously accept your generous gift. I want to start off by saying how grateful I am to be standing here today in front of all of you. I know that I never could have done it without all of the support from family, friends, teachers, and classmates. And for that, I want to thank you all. My name is Kaylee Batez, and as valedictorian of the class of 2023, I would like to speak a little bit about the importance of taking things one step at a time. I think back to when we were first starting kindergarten. We couldn't read or write, and basic math was not even comprehensible to us. If we were tasked with taking the SATs at this age, none of us would have succeeded. In fact, most of us wouldn't have even been able to write our names. But we took things step by step. We learned how to read and write, then how to add and subtract numbers. Pretty soon, we were memorizing our times tables and learning long division. Everything we've learned so far, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem, has led us to this moment right now. This is not only true for school, but for life. If we never made mistakes, or never even bothered to master the easy tasks, how could we move on to accomplish the great things that we are called to do? With that being said, I would like to present all of you with a challenge. Go out into the world and test your limits. You will never find out what you are capable of until you venture out into the unknown. You might find that you excel in something you've never tried before, or you may fail. But that's OK, too, because that's how you learn. Growth is the product of failing and learning from your mistakes. So, when you're overwhelmed and see no possible end in sight, I encourage you to simply take things one step at a time. Don't be disheartened when things go wrong, because it's inevitable that sometimes they will. The only way that you can ever see progress is by taking things one step at a time. I would like to congratulate the entire class of 2023 on this amazing accomplishment and I'm so glad that I got to go through every step of high school with all of you by my side. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lydia Lil Blank, and I'm the class of 2023 salutatorian. I just wanted to start off by saying a big congratulations to the class of 2023, as well as a big thank you to our staff, parents, family, and friends. I can vividly remember six years ago being in fifth grade, lining the middle school halls as the graduating class walked by in their gowns. 
At that moment, I thought they were the coolest people on the planet. Graduation felt like an eternity away. But it's finally here, and I can confirm that I don't feel nearly as cool as my fifth grade self thought I would be. Now, those fifth graders are looking at us thinking the same thing. Whether we see it or not, we're all role models. We're leading the way for people who look up to us, little brothers, sisters, neighbors, and friends who see this cap and gown and want to be us someday. But equally, we're looking up to people for guidance too, searching and sometimes seeking the people who we want to be a little more like, people we see as our heroes. Don't tell my fifth grade self this, but at 18, I don't always feel like I should be someone's hero. In fact, I'm not sure I'm even completely comfortable with the idea that I'm supposed to be an adult. Underneath these symbols of a new beginning hides a bit of panic a panic of leaving what I've always called home. There's a sense of comfort in high school. The kids that we're sitting next to right now are many of the same ones we learned the alphabet with, we went through our awkward middle school phases with, and the same people who we danced at prom with. We've watched each other grow and change and go from little kids to adults. Growing up in a small city, it's always been a lot of the same people. However, after today, it's gonna be different. Whether you're going to college, Entering a trade, the workforce, or the military, every single, of us, every single one of us is going to meet new people and be put in new situations unfamiliar to us. And it might be hard going, such a, from, going from such a comfortable lifestyle to something so new, but always remember, it's good to go out of your comfort zone and become familiar with the unfamiliar to get comfortable being uncomfortable. We will all have to adapt to places where the bathrooms aren't locked, and we won't need passes to go get a drink of water. And we're all going places that will require more directions than just keep walking in a circle and eventually you'll find it. <laughs> Author Jason Reynolds writes, quote, be not afraid of discomfort. If you can't put yourself in a situation where you're uncomfortable, then you will never grow, you will never change, you will never learn, end quote. I hope to grow, I hope to change, and I hope to learn. But I also hope that some things will never change. And this school, these people, this city will always remain as our sense of comfort. And now that I'm looking out at our class, the graduating class of 2023, maybe I was right about that one thing all those years ago. Maybe we are pretty cool after all. <laughs> Good morning, family, friends, faculty, but most important, my fellow graduates. My name is Mackenzie LeBlanc, and I am your class president. I have had the honor and privilege to be class president for my fellow classmates since freshman year, which means I got to steadily watch you guys grow a foot taller than me throughout the four years. Before I get to my class as a whole, I want to introduce myself to those who may not know me. A fun fact about me is I am a huge Taylor Swift fan, and there may or may not be Taylor Swift references throughout my speech. That's all you really need to know about me. I can't believe our time is coming to an end. Swift saying, wish you could go back and tell yourself what you know now. As I began writing my speech, I thought it was best to ask my classmates what their favorite memories of high school were. Many people said the Friday night lights, we felt freezing cold, but we also felt joy. Some said the tr senior trip to Boston when Miss B paid for all of us to ride the carousel. We felt a bit silly, but we also felt our time coming to an end. And some said the amazing sports with many wins and the happiness of lifelong friendships. Some also said the last minute senior prank where we felt sneaky and bonded. If I were to describe the class of 2023, I would describe us as outstanding, passionate, fearless, and determined. Taylor Swift also said, 
Fearless is not an absence of fear. It's not being completely unafraid. Fearless is having fears. Fearless is having doubts. As a class, we have been through many changes in our lives, and we have faced our share of fear and doubt. From being the underclassmen, confused about where the next few years were going to take us, to now being the class everyone looks up to. I think we can all agree that our high school experience was not like high school musical, which is weird because we are the Wildcats. We unfortunately lost our normal experience due to COVID. We never finished biology with Mrs. McSweeney and our new class, Norbert, but we got away from taking the bio MCAST. Sophomore year, we started off online, but gradually started coming back into the building based on our last names. Then junior year, we at least were able to see each other's eyes. We were different people, and most of us were ready for normalcy. It became weird to see each other face to face than rather on screen. Slowly that year, we began to have a normal high school experience. We were able to take our masks off and see each other smile with the hope that COVID was coming to an end. We got to go to prom for the first time, and the faces were so familiar but seemed almost unrecognizable no longer behind a screen. I remember thinking this is what high school is supposed to be like. As I come to the end of my speech, I would like to thank a few important people who have helped me throughout my high school career. Swift saying, I gave my blood, sweat, and tears for this. Although this is true, I wouldn't have been able to make it through these last few years without my family and friends. I would like to start by thanking my mother. She has inspired me to be hardworking and to never give up when times get rough. So here's to all the moms who had to listen to all the drama. I want to thank my stepdad for coming into my life during my high school career and helping me navigate through life as a teenager. I would like to thank my dad and my grandmothers who have been there for me when I needed a shoulder to cry on. I would like to thank my brother Vinny for coming into my life when I was at my lowest points. I hope I'm making you proud. I wanted to thank Miss Clark and Miss Mumbardi for being there for me throughout my hardest years of high school. I would like to thank Sarah, Betsy, and my Aunt Lisa, who unfortunately couldn't be here with me throughout this experience, but will always be with me in spirit. I want to thank my cardiac surgeon, Dr. Armani, for saving my life. I would lastly like to thank my family and friends for coming to support me, rain or shine. So here's to the class of 2023. Just know, after taking Doc Yan's chemistry class over Zoom and passing, you should know you can do anything you put your mind to. I am so proud of each and every one of you. I can't wait to see you achieve all amazing things. Although this may be the last time we are all together and we are closing this chapter, the next one is just beginning. We are about to embark the next four years at college or maybe in the military or working a full-time job. Wherever life leads you, don't forget the magic we made at GHS. As we turn to the next page in our books, I'll leave you with one last Taylor Swift quote. Hold on to the memories, they will hold on to you. And sure to remember, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Thank you.
Good morning. You have no idea how glad I am that it's not raining right now. I can't even put it into words. Good morning and welcome. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Paula Bolger, the very proud principal of Gardner High School. I wasn't going to mention the weather, but I admit I've been completely obsessed with it the last week, watching it go from days and days of beautiful sunshine to completely falling apart and then getting slightly better. Well, it's certainly not a beautiful day by weather standards, but what matters is that family and friends, teachers, staff, the superintendents, school committee members, the mayor and other dignitaries are all here and we are celebrating this great group of seniors sitting before you right now. I wanna start by thanking a few folks for their hard work putting this event together. We had to plan for both indoors and outdoors because we weren't sure which way this was gonna go, so it was double the work and, and double the stress. Um, Julie Campbell, who heads up our main office, who does a ton of work organizing this event. Thank you also to Patty Flynn, Abby Pinio, Teddy Ouellette, who have worked alongside uh, Ms. Campbell with the graduation preparations. Doug Lepisto, who organizes all the rehearsals and just about everything else graduation related. Wayne Anderson, our facilities director and his crew for getting um, the place ready for this special event. Our custodial staff, senior class advisor, Ms. Caitlin White. Our awesome school counseling staff for their support of all these seniors over the years. And of course, my thank yous wouldn't be complete without thanking our admin team and all our teachers and staff for their commitment to these students, for their support, getting them to where they are right now. Also a quick shout out to Mrs. Lemure and Mr. Tyros who have been here um, all morning helping set up as well. Um, lots, of, lots of folks get together to make this happen. And now a few words about the class of 2023. I always try to think of things that make each class unique because each class really has its own personality. I will say that whenever the class of 2023 is mentioned, the reply from teachers, staff, or admin is always the same. This is such a good class. I would describe this class as being very kind and friendly and really, really mellow, like super low key. You could walk into the library at probably any time during the day, and there they are, sprawled out on the beanbag chairs, yawning. Some of them might be catching a quick cat nap. A couple might have their Chromebooks open, just to make it look like they're doing some work. They're just very chill. We were doing graduation rehearsals in the auditorium and going over everything, and it was just so quiet no one was speaking. They were just sitting there quietly, following along. I turned to Mr. Lepisto and said, what is up with these guys? But that's just how they are. Easy going, go with the flow. I love it. They roll into school in the morning, some on time, others not. Always complaining about being tired, it's too early. A few weeks ago, one of our students, Logan Richard, comes meandering into school after lunch. And I'm standing in the office and I'm like, Logan, buddy, are you just getting in? He's like, yeah, I overslept. And I'm like, Logan, it's 1.15. <laughs> and he says, well, I hit my snooze. And I'm like, your snooze? A snooze button's nine minutes, not six hours. <laughs> Yesterday at rehearsal, I said to him, now make sure you set your alarm and you're here on time tomorrow. And he said, wait, what? Graduation's tomorrow? <laughs> True story. I'm still not sure if he was just messing with me, but he sounded pretty convincing. But like I said, they just go with the flow. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous and wish I was more like that. I think we can all learn a lesson or two from this group about living a more stress-free life. A couple of seniors, Mackenzie LeBlanc and Shauna Briarly, came into my office a couple of weeks ago and asked me for permission to do the senior prank. And I'm like, you're asking for permission to do the senior prank? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, is it gonna make me mad or is it gonna damage anything? And they're like, oh no. So I'm like, all right, go for it. But that's what I mean, kind, easygoing, rule followers. Well, in doing their prank, they did actually make quite a mess. Somehow we ended up with orange construction cones taped to the roof of the outside entryway for days and days because we couldn't figure out how to get them down. 
We couldn't find a ladder tall enough. No one really wanted to go up on the roof. We finally figured out how to get them down just yesterday. And then I hear how Drew Patel climbed up on a trash can and scaled the wall like Spider-Man, hung over the edge of the roof and taped the cones up there like it was nothing. I'm picturing him up there. I'm like, oh my goodness, it was stressing me out. So basically, he was able to do in a few minutes what it took us adults a whole week to figure out. And I'm hearing rumors there might be a toaster up on the roof too. I, I, can't, I, I can't confirm that, but that's, that's what I'm hearing. And of course, there are the yearly laps driving around the building where like years before, they drive around hooting and hollering and honking their horns and they go around back and when they come out by the parking lot, they get to the stop sign, come to a complete stop, look both ways, and then start on their next loop around the building, which always cracks me up. But I love that. Was I talking about rule followers? We did the school building walkthroughs yesterday, which is always so much fun and gives the students a chance to see their old teachers and all the young students, which reminds them that not long ago, that was them cheering on the seniors walking through. Of course, I was walking in front of Sophia Martins, who was yelling and screaming so loud that, honest to goodness, my watch kept vibrating and sending a warning message saying, it seems you are in an excessively loud environment. <laughs> and that was the truth. I think my ears are still ringing. But you see, these are the things that we'll all remember. They're what brings a smile to our faces. It's what comes to mind when we think of the class of 2023. This friendly, kind, mellow, low-key group of kids who really are such a good class. I wish them nothing but the best, and please know that I am very, very proud of each and every one of you. <laughs> one last thing I need to announce. Mayor Nicholson and Superintendent Pellegrino Pursuant to the Gardner High School graduation guidelines and the Massachusetts graduation guidelines and general law, I hereby certify that the students before you have met all the requirements for graduation. Good morning. Before we begin, I'd like to recognize some of our elected officials who are here with us today. Our state representative, Jonathan Zlotnick, from the Gardner City Council, Councilor George Tyros, and members of the school committee, Rachel Cormier, Ann Hurst, Bob Schwartz, and Shannon ward Layton. Uh, while we are here too, I'd like to uh, take a moment to thank all of the members of the Gardner Police Department who helped direct traffic today, Matt, Tim, and Andy from Gardner Educational Television who are filming uh, what, uh, the proceedings we have this morning on all of our teachers and staff over uh, here in the corner and those who couldn't be with us here today for the investments they make in our students each and every day. The members of the City Council for the investments they've made in our district as a whole, our school committee for the continued programming they add to Gardner Public Schools, and our legislative delegation in Rep Slotnick and Ann Gobi, our state senator, for the historic investments they've made in funding for our school systems through the Student Opportunity Act and the other programs they've had. Now graduates, the reason I start with those thank yous isn't because we're trying to show off or have any other time fillers, because we all know what's standing after I'm done talking here. But you see, when we were sitting in your seats, for me, 10 years ago this year, we were all thinking the same things. How much longer is this gonna last? Don't trip when I get on the stage. How is this guy still talking? Whose party am I going to first? And is the rain gonna hold off? None of us thought about how quick your time at Garden High School was gonna be. None of us thought to realize the impact that this city had on us in the long term or what was going to happen to us that much 
after we walked out of this football stadium and moved on to that next chapter in our lives. And for some of us who we graduated with, this was the last time we saw each other. But after you leave here today, know that this city is still just as proud of you, no matter where you end up. We're rooting for you, no matter what happens. And that we'll always be your biggest cheerleader and always be your home here in Gardner. At this time, I'd like to ask any of our graduating students who are joining the military to please stand and be recognized. I believe we have one or two. Know that just because you stood here, you're braver than I would ever be. And we couldn't be prouder of you, and we'll be rooting for you no matter what, too. Now, it's my honor and privilege as the mayor of this city and the chair of the school committee to welcome our class secretary, Ms. Ellen Brooks, to the podium. Graduates, please stand up. You'll be uh, doing your ceremonial tassel switches. And then after that, on behalf of the city, Superintendent Pellegrino, the members of the school committee, the members of the city council, and myself, we'll be handing you your diplomas. It's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2023. Mackenzie Lisa LeBlanc. Ellen Josephine Brooks. Kaylee Madison Batez. Jason Andrew Abbott. Jason. Hannah Elizabeth Aiello. Jamari Ethan Andrews. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Jesus Manuel Arzmendi Nagueras. Yeah. Jarrell Alejandro Arroyo. Joel A.J. Asamua. <laughs> Elsie Nair Ayela Santiago. Adam Albert Baldwin. 
Oops. <laughs> okay, now they're out. They're all oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Liamar Ayela Fuentes. <laughs> Abigail Jane Lemieux. Ivy Lynn. <laughs> Lydia Ann LeBlanc. <laughs> Connor Hayden Basterash. Jaden Joseph Beauregard. Marquise Anthony Beauregard. Amelia Mildred Blum. Samuel John Bolus. <laughs> Sam Ann Boudreau. <laughs> Trevor John Boudreau. <laughs> Charles Randolph Bragdon. Shauna Helen Brierly. <laughs> Katrina Amber Bullock. <laughs> Lumari Cabrera Ortega. Elvis Andres Camejo La Rosa. Okay. Melinda Grace Carasquil. <laughs> Ava Dorothy Casavant. April Sarah Ann Chamberlain. <laughs> Justin Mark Chipman. <laughs> Dominic Stephen Christian. Clayton Michael Clark. Janessa Marie Cochran. Isaac Lewis Colazzo. Loessis Darielle Cologne Medina. <laughs> Natalie Marie Cooper. <laughs> Sophia Marie Cormier. Brandon Jacob Darby. Massimo Nicholas DeVito. Yeah. 
Yesenia Duran. Jessica Duran. Jonah Lee Esquidero. Connor Michael Flake. Julian Rachel Flynn. Mikhail Richard Gellino. Karen Michelle Gomez. Rosalie Maya Gonzalez. Shadej Deva Goodman. Hannah Gloria Goss. Kaylin Deborah Gray. Sky Eleanor Green. David Lawrence Haley. Jacob Richard Harmon. Omar Jose Hernandez Gutierrez. Monet Olivia Hicks. Sonia Marie Howell. Renata Martins Anasio. Xavier Dumar Jones. Ashley Madison Kick. <laughs> Tiana Marie Kavaleski. <laughs> Sophia Brady Lafrenier. Bradley Joseph Landry. Elizabeth Ciara Laprizi. Haley Rose Lawrence. Tyler David LeBlanc. Jack Ronald Levake. Nicholas Allen McMillan. Anna Rose March. Yeah. 
Randy Joseph Marchin. <laughs> Sophia Braga Martins. <laughs> Tegan Jean McManus. Christopher Adam Merchant. Ariana Rafael Marusis. Tyler Lee Mernier. Vincent Gabriel Michard Cruz. I made it. You're good. Proud of you, buddy. Cole Alexander Miranda. <laughs> Kathleen Rita Mott. Judah M. Ndolo. Angel Louise Panette. Drew J. Patel. Emily Faith Polakowski. <laughs> Abby Lauren Peak. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Polonia. Andre Mark Quinones. We did it. Logan Joseph Richard. <laughs> Elizabeth Tuesday Sawyer. Gianna Marie Scola. I love you. Sean Christopher Sheldon. <laughs> Sahil Singh. Jack Jameson Skronsky. <laughs> Kayla Marie Smith. <laughs> Gavin Shea Strom. Jeffrey Michael Themey. <laughs> Zoe Ann Vanderpoy. <laughs> Emily Amanda Villatoro. Javon Vias. <laughs> Lucas Kashiwagi Weston. <laughs> T. 
Timothy Wellesley Young.